Today we're going to take a look at the test sessions for the Traxxas TRX4 Sport that's modified and it's going to be part of our 2020 crawler shootout of the best of the best and we're going to put it up against these other crawlers uh, in, in the category. So it's a TRX4 Sport with 12% overdrive, Hyrax wheels, Hyrax tires and Proline wheels with weights it's got a brass portal axle cover and a sabox servo uh, running the power is a hobby wing 1080 on a homes hobby trailmaster sport so our first test is the steep and loose and muddy dirt climb test the Traxxas TRX4 Sport is equipped here with Hyrax tires, ready for the muddy conditions. Gets in that hole, backs up a little bit, and tries to use some steering to get around it. A little root on the back too, and here's another hole. A little maneuvering. Notice that the vehicle is very composed while doing all these maneuvers, left, right, backing up. I think that's the key strength of the Traxxas. Very good drivetrain, very smooth, and very predictable. Amazing steering angle as well. Quick, precise, responsive steering helps you climb actually. Here it is on the descent. A little fast, but we're able to control it. Next thing is a technical rock step. This first rounded rock is very slippery it's able to get some grip with the nice tires and now it's got to grab the left tire on that big left rock slipping on the back but it's able to grab that left I think with the steering angle it helped it out a little bit and the right it's got to grab it as well And there it is, it's able to do it. Oh, it fell in the hole, I to do it over. Driver error. So as soon as you get up, you have to veer left. You can't fall in that hole because it's just too deep to get out of. We've broken many cars. <laughs> Struggling there for five minutes. So here, it's quite deliberate, waiting to get a, a foothold and when it does, you know, it doesn't jerk forward or anything like that. It's just, it's easy to modulate. So just a few mods on this vehicle. And we've cut, lowered the body and cut it extensively. Just to make sure it, it allows the chassis to do its job. And here's our little impossible rock tough entry and almost it's it's there's the rock on the left is just so big to get around but even in failure it's cool to see how these vehicles behave so it just barely clears the rock on the left but then it puts it too much to the right where the belly just drags. There's nothing to hold on to. Even with portals, there's not just much to do there. Spent a good five minutes there and about the same thing. Nice and controlled. So here we didn't we didn't do the steep rock walls like we did in the other vehicles. It made it all, no problem. But uh, we had uh, the footage we had was with different tires, the J concepts, so we didn't want to use it. And here is the boulders. This is where the sport really excels because it's got good clearances. The links are out of the way. The belly is pretty good and the portal axles are, are, are out of the way. So this is all a clearance game and a grip game. Oh, it's doing it again. 
just for show, just to show off. Nice and deliberate, very smooth drivetrain, smooth all around. It made a three point turn there at the top. Descended easily and now pretty good approach angle. It just crawls up. Pretty dry day on on this session with the TRX4. So um, it's able to do it no problem. I think it's making a U-turn up there. Show you guys how it descends. So this is the true strength of this vehicle. Not much flex, just a lot of steering and a good drivetrain. And now we go to the steep rock wall climb. Not a lot to grip on, but the cracks. So it's just a little, little grind. But the more stable you are, the more attempts you can have at grabbing those rocks. And here's a little uh, hop, and it's able to do it with poise. Oh, it's gonna go the other way too. Up and over the steep part, and then down the slippery rocks. Right there, having the good clearances is key. Using the steering to find some wiggle and then descends right there. Oh, it's gonna do a little more here. Finding some lines. And here's our wall of doom test. The test that the TRX4 Sport invented before that, or the vehicles we had couldn't do it, Defenders and Broncos. Once we had a good body, we really saw what this chassis was capable of. A lot of leaves, but this vehicle is not worried. And then it jams itself to get some entry here. That's a slippery rock too, but the cracks allow you to kind of get a side hold on them. Using the steering to get a hold, it's able to grab. And finally, a little line here. The cool thing about rock crawling is you can find all these lines if you have a capable vehicle. And there you go, hope you enjoyed it. And make sure you stay tuned in the next day or two. We are gonna have the four vehicles side by side and we're gonna pick a, a winner on see who's the best crawler at the start of 2020.